Welcome back, guys. It's time for some more Railway Empire. We are continuing the campaign. We are now moving on to Chapter 3, Over the Mississippi. This is set in 1850. And I, I tell you now, this is a good one, because I've already had a look at it. it this is a good one. Um, continue. We, uh, we start off in Toledo uh, with uh, 2 million to spend. We've got two competitors again. Uh, AI level is normal and realistic uh, rail networks. Right. The rest are just gold diggers who don't have a clue about how this business works. Is that so, Roger? Right, we'll, um, we'll change this to... Whoops. Take caps lock off. Take, turn this to uh, Sky. Name of our companies is fixed at Toledo Railways. Off we go. Right, there's a, there's a cutscene, but it's only a short one. The economic upswing allowed the railroad to grow steadily. And as settlements suddenly appeared on the timetables, which until now had been in the middle of nowhere, the country had grown closer. Soon, entrepreneurial vanities and greed fueled the railroad tycoon's first rivalries for lucrative routes and connections. Meanwhile, the Mississippi formed a border between the vibrant centers in the east on the one side and the untapped settlements and new markets in the west on the other. Yet technological innovation, unbroken pioneering spirit, and a good nose for business would soon bring down this barrier as well and drive the triumphant procession of the railroad on unimpeded. So, you're the crazy one who wants to build the transcontinental route. You are aware that there have already been many dreamers who have all failed spectacularly. And you think that that won't be the case for you. <laughs> oh, I don't want to destroy your dreams, of course. So give it a try. Okay. My name is Cornelius Vanderbilt. <laughs> now, apparently he's got more to Cornelius say. Cornelius Vanderbilt. I'm sure you've heard of me. I'm not so optimistic about the future of the railroad and prefer to invest in waterways, but you never know. So I'm interested in what goals you are pursuing. Okay, I think now he's shut up. Fine. <laughs> right, let's get on with this. Um, what do we need to do? Ah, oh, my dear. Oh, are we Lord. competing with each other again? Yes, we are. That is a nice surprise. Isn't it Things just? This might not have gone so well for me <laughs> last time, but I've got more up my sleeve this time. Some good, people with good money for you. find it difficult to resist me. Right. If you That's enough mean. now. So, good luck. Yeah, Even yeah, to you too. You're not going to have much of that. Got to go. The phone's ringing. Bye. God, what the, that woman's voice is so annoying. We need to connect ten rules. Oh, you. we got another but one. I'm happy now. I don't have to wear such things. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun. But you need to be cautious of the nice lady otherwise she'll just roll you over. But if we work together, luck will be on our side. That's Trisha. Short and sweet, thank God. Right, <laughs> let's, let's get straight on with this. Um, we've got to connect 10 rural businesses. We've got, we've got to connect 250,000 people to our rail network. That's kind of the first things. And then we need to start supplying stuff to Rock Island, but we'll kind of get into that later. Um, so let's let's set about this. I'm actually going to do, I think I'm going to do the people first. So first things first. Um, actually, first things first, Toledo. Uh, the station in Toledo. I heard your target is Omaha. You can forget that. Or is the train supposed to fly over the Mississippi? Negotiations over a bridge are ongoing, but that's a long story. Sure, the network is somewhat patchy in the east, and you could take care of Toledo and the other cities first, but is it really worth establishing a network there? Um, yes, it is, frankly. Right, what I'm going to do first is run these tracks out a little bit. Like, come on. That and this one. And then we're going to throw in a supply tower. Uh, out about there. That'll do nicely. Okay. Then I'm going to grab a station. And we're going to start hooking some of these up. So we've got Indianapolis, Louisville, St. Louis down there. Got Chicago, got Madison, Grand Rapids. Uh, let's kick off. Let's kick off with um, Chicago, I think. So yeah, Chicago. Well, everyone well, has goes. to start somewhere. Yes, and we've started in Chicago. 
You got something to say about it? You strange woman. All right, we want uh, got Grand Rapids up there. So we want the second platform, I think. So this one here. That's 280,000. We've, we're making a, a little tunnel here. Right, so 280,000, let's lift that up, so we're not making that tunnel. That gets us to 183, which is much better. Um, uh, we've, got a, we've got a bridge going over the river here. Now, we could bring this down a little bit, probably, to, to make it a bit cheaper. Um, we drop that down and drop this down on this side. Now we're down to 164. And maybe... Bring that down. One percent, two percent, three percent there. Can we even that out? Oh, two and one. Yeah, you know what? That will do. And we've got it down to 154,000. That's pretty darn good. So, yeah, build that. New train. Um, now, I already built a maintenance shed in here. Uh, let's see. Set up the line going from there it's from Toledo to Chicago and boom add a locomotive and we start off with the Philadelphia off we go now we've got a person that we can potentially hire uh, what are you uh, you oh you're a spy huh steal the technology for twenty two and a half thousand yeah that's actually probably worth doing um Let's try and let's try and steal something from Trisha. Yeah, go for it. We'll see. Uh, we'll see if he does it. Come on, do do good things. Right. So our first train is off and running. Woohoo! All right, sweet. Uh, we're shipping meat. We're shipping mail. So all good news. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to double that line up. Um, am I going to double that line up? I am kind of sort of tempted. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. We'll, we'll, let's get some other stuff hooked up. So let's get... Now, do I go direct to Louisville? I've got one, two, three, four. I could go direct. All right, let's get Indianapolis done. So let's probably angle it kind of sort of like that-ish. And we'll hook you up from there. I uh, just got to make sure that I do them in the right order. Yeah. So this one is going to go into this platform here. 96,000, which is not very expensive, but we'll lift you up a little bit. 85,000, looking pretty good. We'll take that. New train. Uh, whoops, set up the line. Toledo down to Indianapolis. I'm racing because there's actually like a huge amount to get done. Uh, add locomotive. Yes, we'll go with the Philadelphia. Uh, we don't have any research to allocate yet. We've got uh, a conductor. Oh, yeah. We'll hire you. And we'll put you on the Toledo-Chicago route. So let's, oh, let's go click on the route. Oh, go away. <laughs> click on the route. And we want... Oh, we've got an engineer and a conductor. So our engineer reduces maintenance requirements. Good, let's hire you. And the conductor will increase our profits. Now, if I select him, oh, they like they like each other. That's a good thing. See, they've got happy faces, so they'll actually get bonuses. Nice. Okay, well that started well. Magic Trains have set a record on one of their one of their train routes. Uh, okay, so in the Indianapolis train is running nice good right let's do what should we do next let's do let's do louisville next i think so eh, that's not what i want small train station in louisville so we want to point kind of sort of up there ish right so let's grab track from there up to that one right two million because it's doing a, this huge, enormous tunnel through here. Well, we don't want that. So let's just lift you up. Now, we've got to avoid this farm. So what if we do it like that? Well, that gets us down to like 600,000. But that's still pretty expensive. Because we've still got a tunnel going on here. So... Um, 
yeah, we've got we've got quite an incline there. Uh, let's try and get it down to I don't know, maybe can we get it down to like four percent or something? Yeah, we can get it down to like four percent there. Four uh, percent that gets us down to one fifty-five. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll accept that and then we'll grab the line setup. Toledo, Louisville, and yes, and add a locomotive, and we want Philadelphia. Boom. Alrighty, uh, let's go and have a quick look at the research. We've uh, we've got 120. We can get the caboose, which boosts it, it increases the bonuses for all employees by 20%, which is um, definitely worth having. So, boom, let's have that. Boom. Alrighty. Um, we didn't hear from our spy, did we? I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he failed. I don't know. Right. Let's uh, let's do. Should we do Grand Rapids next, or should we extend out to St. Louis? Kind of tempted to extend out to St. Louis. Now we can't extend out to Rock Island yet. This is um, this is shut off. So we've got to complete tasks before that opens up. So um, what should we do next? I think I think we're going to do St. Louis next. And what I'm going to do down in St. Louis is I'm going to put in a large train station. And just whack well, that in everyone there. Has to start somewhere. Now, I need to put... Uh, I've already got supply routes on those three. Um, St. Louis, what I'm going to do is same kind of sort of thing. I'm going to extend this out like that. And then the next one. And the next one. And I, I think I only need three, but I'm just going to do the four because, like, like what the hell? Might as well. It doesn't cost a lot. And then we'll grab another supply tower and put that in there. Hurrah. Okay. Now let's do some hooking up. So I want this one to hook up to Chicago. Uh, now, do I want to... I think we'll extend... Yeah, I think we'll extend Chicago. So, Chicago. No, oh, no, I want the station, please. There we go. Let's extend you. Cost of expansion, 60,000. There we go. Um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, let's just uh, run. Go away. Let's run from that platform down to St. Louis down here. Right. Uh, it's going to cost us 182, 80,000 on earthworks. What about if we lift this up a little bit? That gets us down to 137. Uh, now I could probably, I could probably save a little bit on that bridge by diverting it this side of the river, but I, I don't know. It, it's a bit, I don't know. It's a bit cheaper, I suppose. Um, 120. Yeah. yeah, I think we'll take that. I don't think we're going to get much cheaper than that. Let's, let's take that. Your rail network in the East. That's oh, have we? Than I expected of you. Okay, well, we've already done the 250,000. I hear the bridge over the Mississippi has been approved. However, the Mississippi is a land border, and we must respect it. Constructing a bridge over it might be doable. But it's a huge amount of work. So we can now connect to Otherwise, Rock Island. Otherwise, you'd have to supply the construction site at Rock Island with materials and build another line there just for that. That's really not worth it. Uh, so we can connect. You are expanding your rail network pretty far south. Are you sure it's worth it? Um, what the hell was wrong with that? Oh, this bit here. Uh, let's just adjust you... Like, oh, come on, like that. Okay, uh, how's that? That's 136. If we lift this up a little bit, down to 115. Yep, go on, I'll take that. Uh, I probably should have extended these and put in um, one supply tower, but I didn't. So we'll pop in a supply tower for that line over there. We'll pop in a supply tower for this line. Oh no, this one's covered, isn't it? Yeah, this one's covered by this. Okay, cool. 
Whew. Um, let's do. Let's put into Chicago. Oh, look at this. We're over over a thousand miles of track. Let's do the Chicago to Rock Island. So yes, and add locomotive. Get a Philadelphia on there. There's nothing else going on at the moment. Uh, we're going to do something a bit different in this episode, by the way. Oh, we're waiting for track clearance. Now, because we're sharing a platform, I, I, this time around, I'm going to pay much more attention to uh, to signals. I mean, in, in the last couple, like, I could kind of get away with that, with ignoring them. But in this one, I kind of do need to uh, pay attention. So I'm going to put in a signal there. That will just allow trains to come up to here and wait if this section's busy. And then the same on the other side. You really should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Now, we'll talk about that in a second. Her t telling me to pay more attention to my, um, uh, to my trains. Uh, so, huh, what was I doing? I was putting in, I think, uh, do I want the number 51 dragon? Um, go on, I'll bid on it. It's only, it's only 20 thou, assuming we get it. Did I put in... The Rock Island line. Look out. I've still got an ace or two up my sleeve. Oh, I got the 51 Dragon. Excellent. Okay, so we've put in the Rock Island line. Where are you? There you go. Awesome. Uh, we're not sharing this platform at the moment. Uh, you know what? Should I put a signal in? Did I, oh, did I put a signal? Oh, I put a signal in there. Oh, that was good of me. I am impressed. Okay. Um... Right, so in the next line we need to put in. I am going to miss stuff because I am I out with a little kind of racing. And I used this to ferry passengers and goods between Staten Island and Manhattan. That's how I built my reputation. And yes, that's also how I got my title Commodore. I was 16 years old at the time. What an intriguing story. Right, we will go with. Uh, we'll still go with the Philadelphia. Okay. Oh, we've got another person that we can allocate. Uh, new applicant, Brady comes in. Oh, increases maximum speed. Yes, please. Let's grab you. We'll uh, we'll go back to the Chicago line and we'll put you on the Chicago line, I think. So, Stoker. When A I first started out, nobody took me seriously. Cornelius, whose family of Dutch farmers emigrated to America, but I showed them all. That's not the right one. That's the Chicago St. Louis line. I, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the, I wanted this line. Um, come on, give me the, give me the line. Here we go. Toledo, Chicago. Um, Stoker. Let's swap you onto this one. Um, assuming, yeah, he doesn't upset anybody. Good. Alrighty, that's going to make that a nice train. Right, let's go back over to here. I was doing St. The, the St. Louis line, wasn't I? Thank you for letting me have your staff, sweetheart. Oh, they just stopped. Oh, man. They used a headhunter to steal one of my people. That kind of sucks. Um, okay, that one's on there. All right, let's do the next one then. So that's running on there. That's running on there. That's running, that's running, that's running. Good. I'm going to throw in, in St. Louis, a maintenance shed down here. Now, maintenance. Uh, uh, like, on the, the last couple of videos... Um, we've got quite a few people commenting and saying, oh, you shouldn't be ignoring her. You should sort your maintenance out. Look, she says that whenever a train breaks down. Now, you cannot stop trains from breaking down, right? They will break down. You can reduce the chances of it happening, right? But you can't stop it completely. So she's going to say it every so often. So just live with it. Right, next. Um, we can share this platform in Indianapolis, I think. So let's run you out to... St. Louis, how are we doing for cash? We're down to, ooh, 666. Illuminati confirmed. Uh, 285, I think we can probably do a bit better than that. Most of the money is in this bridge here. And you can see it's a pretty long bridge. So if we, I don't know, let's bring you down to like there. Um, now what happens if I, Let's have like a 3% incline. We'll live with that. Then... That gets us down to 170. It's the earthworks here that are costing the money, I guess. Um, what about... If we move these back a little bit. 
It doesn't make a lot of difference. One sixty four. I don't think we're going to do much better than that. We'll we'll try lifting it up there. One sixty. One sixty. I think that's probably about as good as it's going to get. Let's take that. Time is money. Uh, let's take that, and then we want to set up the line. This is going to run from Indianapolis to St. Louis. Yes, please. Add a locomotive, Philadelphia. Now we've got. We've got a stoker that we could add. So I guess we lost our stoker before. You know what, let's... Um, oh, no. Oh, no, we didn't lose our stoker. Okay, well, we'll put you... Are we going to put you on this line? Yeah, what the hell. You can go on this line. I don't mind that. Um, it's a pretty long run, so that's not a bad thing. And then finally, Louisville will hook up from Louisville all the way to St. Louis. Boom. 183. How's this look? Oh, we've got to avoid that farm. So we've got pretty pretty deep earthworks here, so let's drag this round like that. Six hundred thousand. Oh man. This is um pretty expensive. Okay, that's 193. The bridge. The bridge is only 32,000. It's not a long bridge, so I don't think we're going to worry about that. Um, I don't think we can get that down that much. We might be able to get it down a little bit. Actually, I, yeah, we can get it down a little bit. 178. I think, I think that'll probably do. Um... If I just... Uh, no, that gives us some pretty nasty inclines. Uh, let's leave that like that. So, 178. Yeah, we. I think we can afford it. So, take that. New train. Set up locomotive from Louisville to St. Louis. Yes, and add a locomotive. Ooh, I'll stick a Philadelphia on there. Ooh. We've got an engineer that we can add. New applicant. It's a bit slow. Reduces maintenance requirements. Yeah, that'll do. Alrighty, so we've got uh, the maintenance down there. We've got the uh, supply. That's covering all of those. That's covering all of those. We're actually looking in decent shape with that. Right, we've got one more to do, which is Grand Rapids. So let's go up here, grab another small station. Flip it now. Hang on, where do we want to come? Um... I think we'll come I think we'll come to this side of this farm, so let's angle you down a bit like that. And then we'll grab um now. Hmm. Okay, I tell I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna extend this. I'm gonna expand this station. Um yeah, I probably only buy one. I can always move it later if because uh, we're gonna have some freight going in there and we're gonna do something different. We're gonna we're gonna use a, a a warehouse and create like a central depot. Um, let's run you around like that. Maybe that's 110. One percent, two percent. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to get that hundred. There we go. I don't think we're gonna do too much better than that. Right, we'll take that. And grab another new line, boom, and you, yes, add locomotive, Philadelphia. Alrighty, Whew. so let's see. Uh, we have got um, eight lines, we've, we've put in eight lines already. Pretty impressive. Okay, we've got, we've got two trains that are, uh, that are broken at the moment. Oh no, 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 they're not broken. They're ex they, they're classified as express trains. Now, the, the whole thing with express trains is if you if you use like the fastest train that's available and you, you set really a record should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotives. Shut up. Um, so it's this, right? This is saying breakdown, bad condition. Right? There's nothing that I can do to, to change that. 
Um, did I put... Um, oh, no, yeah, oh, that one I can. Because I can put a maintenance in one end or the other. Like in Chicago. I can put a maintenance shed. It's a bit expensive, but uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to put in a maintenance shed. So, yeah. Um, and the thing is, the amount that you save on keeping the trains running is probably not worth putting in like the, the 80,000 that I just spent on that. But you'll still see other trains breaking down. Even though we've got like a maintenance shed on every single route, you'll still get stuff breaking down. Right, um, let's have a look. How are we doing? So we've now got to con start connecting some rural uh, businesses. We can start delivering to Rock Island. Um, start delivering the the uh, the um, iron. Now the iron, I've had a look around the map, and the only iron that I can find on the map is over here. This um, Jenkins Quarry. I'll have, I'll have another quick look around, but I'm pretty sure that that is the only iron. That's clay up there. That's clay there. Um. Yeah, yeah, it, that's the only iron. Oh, there's some iron up there, but that's no use to us. Um, oh, do I want to hook up to Madison? Oh, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, go on, we'll, we'll hook up to Madison. Why the hell not? Let's uh, get up to Madison. So, pop you in there. Now, this one, I think, we'll just hook up... Where can I hook you up? I can hook you up there. Two percent, zero percent. Yeah, that's bearable. Let's take that. We'll put a line in Chicago to Madison. Boom. And we will add a locomotive and Philadelphia. And there we go. Oh, man. Alrighty. Okay, let's go and check out our research. So, we've got 220 points to spend. Um, we can grab express trains. Increases the number of passengers in every city where your company has a station by 10%. That's not a bad one. Also, we'll take that, I think. Uh, I could save up for standardized components, which reduces um, the purchase cost of locomotives. And that would allow us to get uh, Tachograph, which increases trains' performance by 10%. But I think probably the better thing to do would be to get that one. We need one more um, research unlocked before we can get this train. So if we take that one, that then means that we can upgrade to the, uh, the, the Renslayer. So let's have the Ooh. Renslayer. Is your new locomotive as quick as it looks? Yes, it is, baby. Right, let's go have a look at that. So if we go to the engine shed, so we've got the Philadelphia. That's the one that we're using. Now, the, the Philadelphia's got a top speed of 31. We've got the Dragon, which is slower. It's 27. And then we've got the Renslayer, which is uh, 40. So I think we replace all of our locomotives. Now, um, it actually says that it's, it's negative 75,000, right? Because I'm guessing that they're cheaper. Um, let's just, before we take it, let's just compare. So, acceleration 82, passenger rating 115. Um, it's, it's got a better passenger rating. And since I think we're shipping primarily passengers at the moment, uh, switching to that is going to be a good thing. So, yeah, let's do it. Boom. So what we should do is on, on passenger routes, we should use the, or primarily passenger routes, we should use the, the Renslayer. Oh, uh, if fantastic. we're doing freight, we that should use Philadelphia. Motors has finally set a record. Or even the Dragon. But I, think, I think probably the Philadelphia. Okay. 1% back speed. World holds breath over new records. Woohoo! The Renslayers! Set, they're going to be setting. Look at this. Hits 40 miles an hour. We're going to be setting records all over the place. We're going to be, we're going to be having lots of express trains, which is really good news. Uh, when you get an express train, your passengers pay more to travel on it. It's like, it's like you know, people pay to travel on the Flying Scotsman or the Mallard because they were famous trains. They pay, uh, happy to, to pay higher ticket prices. Right. Having got all of that set up, we're now going to try and set up. Um, huh, yeah, another. F we've hit 46 miles an hour. It's going to keep happening. Um, 
Yeah, we're going to try and set up some, some local stuff now. We have got, we're October 1850. We've only got till 1853 to get 10 rural businesses hooked up. So we've actually got a lot to do. We've got 685. All right. How am I going to do this? Um, now, can I get both of those? Oh, I can get both of those. Okay, what we might do now we've got we've got cows and we've got corn. Toledo, go away. Uh, Toledo, Toledo needs. Um, yeah, definitely needs cows. Needs a lot of cows, and definitely needs corn. So both of those would be good going into Toledo. So let's uh, let's do it. Let's grab. Um, Okay, what I want to try and do, I, in an ideal world, uh, let's bring out a little bit like that. Ideally, what I'd like to do um, is, come in, is come into the tracks this way. So let's, um, now, huh, I've got to make sure that I connect the right one to the right one. So I'm going from there, let's go into that one. Ooh, we're almost almost going off the map. Right, that's 181,000. Let's see if we can get that a bit cheaper. Ooh, 102. Now, we have got a pretty sharp bend there, which is going to slow things down, but I'm kind of happy to live with that. So 102. Uh, that makes things worse. Oh, 100. I guess we'll, I guess we'll live with that. Uh, Oh, 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 there's a 99 there. <laughs> Come on, where were you? Oh, there it is. Let's go for a 99. So, boom, and new train set up. Oh, come on. From Lee Ranch to Toledo. Um, boom, boom, boom. Accept that. Nine stations currently connected. Woohoo, we are flying. Uh, now, I'm going to have... Yeah, am I going to have two lines going into there? Um, I gotta say, I'm, I am tempted to run two lines into here. I, don't, I think I'm gonna do it. Now I could just put a, a passing place and have two trains, but I think I'm gonna run a. Am I gonna run a second track? Uh, now I'm now I'm second guessing myself. Um, I don't know. Do I need to? Not really. I do want to run two trains on there. I think because we're shipping the corn and the cows. Mm, no, I will just we'll just do a passing place, I think. So, um, not quite a long passing place, but and uh, let's link you. In. Well, let's, let's take you a little bit further. Let's take you up to there and link you in there. All right. So, by that uh, signals, I'm gonna need. Um, bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna need a signal there, and that needs to. Be that needs to be a stop directional signal. And because what like okay, when you put signals in, they go in as that is a stop signal, right? But trains can go both ways. If you put well, come on. Whereas if I change ah, there we go. If I change it to that, it means that from this direction, uh, trains can't travel in that direction on that track. That's what that's for. Um, I could even crank this up to three trains later on, but we'll, we'll live with two for now. So, new train, set up, there, and there, yes, add locomotive. Now, um, like I said, the Renslayer, that's a passenger train, um, so I'm going to go with the Philadelphia on this line. Now, what <laughs> the problem is that that now means that I don't want to upgrade necessarily all my trains the way I have been doing, but uh, we'll kind of live with it. Right, I've got a bit of research I can spend. Um, I can get counter pressure brakes. Reduces maintenance requirements for by 20%. I quite like that. Um, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm just gonna go for that. There we go. Anything that reduces maintenance is a good thing. Alright, so we're gonna be starting to ship.
cows in there. Let's get rid of that. Oh no, what bad luck. See, one of my trains has broken down. Now I do need to put a supply route on here. Which one of my trains has broken? See, this train's broken down, but we've got a maintenance shed in Toledo. Right, so it's just had maintenance because like whenever it goes into that station, every train that goes in there will get maintenance, right? So it's gone down here and it's broken down. There's just a percentage chance of it breaking down. It is what it is. Um, and I've got a maintenance shed in Chicago as well. So there's nothing more I can do to it. So there you go. What the hell was I doing? So we had another train break down there. Um, <laughs> I've forgotten what I was doing there. Yeah. Oh, I need to put in a supply. Yeah, that's what I needed to do. So let's put in a supply tower. Uh, let's put you in. Yeah, let's put you in like. I don't like putting it in at like the bottom of a trench if I can avoid it. Looks looks better if it's in a, like a decent place. Right, what are you. Oh, now. Oh, there you go. He ran out of something. He's just topping off there. Mind you, I suppose that's a fairly long route down to Louisville. Now, are they using the same platforms? Yes, they're using the same platform. I need to make sure that I've got the signals in here, which I don't think I have. No, I haven't. So, we can put a signal in there. And we'll put a signal in there. Which just means that, like, if one train is in using that, that station, the other train can, can get as far as here before it has to wait. And the same with this... Cool. Awesome. I think we're okay up to this point. So we're January 1851. We've got two years. Got to connect eight more of these rurals. Okay, let's try and do a warehouse. Okay, this is how warehouses work. If we go down here. Uh, we can put in a warehouse, which is a station and a warehouse. But it's not like a proper station. So, for example, I, I can't connect to like a farm with it. It won't give me a connection. That's not what it's for. Right. What I'm looking to do is hook up one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, I'd love to hook up all of these farms to this. That would be kind of nice. And I need to do the iron. Okay, let's put this in. I'm gonna put this in, in between Grand Rapids and Toledo. So I'm gonna put it in there yeah there okay now in uh, in Toledo I'm already using all of these platforms so I'm gonna put in another train station uh, just a medium one on this side over here now where's that that's there so let's put it in kind of like that and then I'm gonna hook up a couple of tracks and let's go into uh now do i use two for this two three four five, six um hmm do i use two for this uh, i'm not sure i have to say i'm not sure you know what i'll put that you one in know for now the two rails have to run parallel to each other right yeah it's all right mr sarky uh, okay, let's uh, well let's hook some let's hook some of these up. So, how can I do this? Can I can I hook any of these up with a with a large station? Uh, no, I don't want to hook those up because it's that's the iron. Um, oh no! What bad luck! Oh, I oh I I, oh, I can do those two, but that's the clay. I don't know whether I want to do that. I don't think I do. Okay. Let's do let's do something like this then. Um, we want we definitely want the cows. So we want the cows coming down. We want uh, this is the wool and the veg. I should probably have put that out a little bit further, but we'll, but we'll live with it. And then this one's going to be coming in from this side. You're constantly expanding your so business, that's huh? One. You know what? I should have I should have brought this one so it comes in this side, probably. 
Um, yeah, I, I can still do it. I can still do it. So this one is going to come into here. And at this point, I've got money, so I'm not going to worry about trying to do anything fancy with the supply routes. So that one's going to come into there. This one is going to come in to, well, no, I want you to come the other way. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Uh, okay. What about if I, if I put that there? So we want that to come in like pretty much as close as possible, don't we? So let's put that there and then straighten you out a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I can live with that. Boom. So let's put that in. So that's going in there. That's going in there. Then this one is going to come down into there. Now we're going to have four trains sharing one platform is the only thing. Uh, am I happy about that? Well, I, I think it's okay, actually. So, yeah. Well, oh, that, that's half a million. What? Oh, it's putting a, it's putting a great big bridge. Oh, we don't want that. What about if we do it like that? It halves the cost. Um, that's, oh, I saw I saw a two hundred somewhere. Where's where's two hundred? Yeah, that's getting more expensive. Yeah, two hundred six. I think that'll do. One percent, one percent. Yeah, that's fine. Let's take that. And then we'll go up here and we'll hook the cows in as well. Uh, the cows are going to... Now, do I want the cows to share that platform? Um, we're going to have a line going up to Grand Rapids. Then we're going to have the sugar and the corn coming in. So, yeah, I think this is going to have to share this line, this platform, rather. So that's going to go in there. Ooh, that's a bit pricey. Almost 400,000. Yeah, because we've got a great big long bridge here. Uh, that's a hundred thousand. We've still got a big bridge here. What about if we bring this down? 72. So that's zero. That's 3%. 3% I can live with. Um, we just need to do something about this. 70,000. Yep, that's looking good, isn't it? Alrighty, let's take that. Okay, that's the cows done. Right, let's, before I forget, let's put some supply towers on here. So let's have one on that line, one on, whoops, one on there, one on there, and one on, oh, museum trains being auctioned. Um, yeah, we'll go for it. Oh, you gonna try and bid again? Oh, yes. I think I've got more money than you. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, I've already got a few points to spend as well, so let's grab. Did you bring your big wallet yeah. with you? Woohoo! We got it. You don't mind it if I take a little look at your cards, do you? Oh, they stole parcel drops. Meanies? We've got three personnel we can hire. Um, train instructions increase profits from transported mail by 10%. That is probably worth getting. The other one uh, reduce maintenance requirements by 20%. I want both of them. Well, we'll be able to get both of them soon. I'm going to take the profits right now, I think. Let's grab that. Toledo Railways increases route length 2.6, uh, so 2,600 miles, I think. 14 stations connected. Woohoo! Okay. Um, what the hell was I doing? I just put um, a supply tower in there, didn't I? Yeah, so I've got one more to put in, which is over here somewhere. There, there we go. So supply tower, supply tower, supply tower, supply tower. Good. Uh, am I going to do the sugar and the corn? Yeah, I guess I am. Let's. So now, how am I going to get this one to hook into there? Um, it's going to have to be something like that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, go on. We'll put you. So we'll put you there. You know, I should have put that the other blue inside. I am. I'm a bonehead. You know, I'm actually going to get rid of that. Um, demolish that. We'll do that again. It's only 40,000. I can afford it. So what about if I put this one kind of there? It'll just like loop round into there. Yeah. 
I'm going to put that one there. And then we'll do this one over this side. Uh, yeah. So we want to go into there. So we probably want to be something like that. Alrighty. Grab some track. Run this. Now it'll automatically create bridges. Which I'll show you in a second. So I want to come into there, I think. Yeah, that's where I want. So it automatically creates bridges. Now you can change the the length of the bridge by playing around with the track. But uh, that's a 2% gradient. Maybe. Maybe we reduce, reduce that a little bit. Um, that's, I uh, see that's 5% now. It's maybe a bit steep. 20%. Where are we? We're below 200,000. Uh, I can afford it though, so like, what the hell? Should I just take it? Yeah, let's just take it. Alrighty, and then this one is just gonna nip around there like that. Very short run. Um, I, mm, I, I, what I'm thinking is, I could have done this a different way. I could have had these two on the same um, on the same track. Um, this train is going to be a bit of a waste, but it's okay. Hmm. Yeah, it'll be fine. Now this warehouse, uh, the goods that I want to activate, I want wheat, I want cows, I want corn. You can have a maximum of six. Uh, I want wool, I want sugar, and what was the other one? Vegetables, wasn't it? Yep, those are the six. And I'm going to construct a maintenance building here, which will handle the maintenance for all of these guys. Right, so I do need to add a couple of supply buildings, don't I? Oh yes, dear. I do. There seems to be a little problem with one of your locomotives. Yeah, 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 thanks for that. Right, and a supply tower on that. So they've all got supply towers on these routes. Um... Yeah, everywhere's got supply towers as far as I can tell. I don't think I've missed that. Uh, I I need to put some signals in so that these trains can run efficiently. So we want one there. One. Uh, yeah, I'm going to want one there. I'm going to want one there. Your trains might be fast, but do they also provide a decent level of comfort? Now, what I should do here is, well... Should I? Um, I'm wondering which platform to connect to. I'm going to connect to that one, I think. Now, oh yeah, 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 I got it right. Wow, man, I actually planned something correctly. Hooray. So. Okay, so what are you complaining about? Oh, you complain about that. So let's just drag you a little bit further across there. There we go, 2%, 2%, 0. That'll do 40,000. That's fine. Oh, man. So, <laughs> we will put in lines. Uh, oh, do, do, do everything before you start, because otherwise you'll forget. So, put in a supply tower for that. Um, so, signals-wise, what do I need to do? I need to put the signals over here, don't I? Yeah, that's what I was going to do. So, let's put the signals in there, there, and there, even though I don't need that middle one, because it's not sharing a platform. Right, so I want uh, trains going from the. Uh, am I going to do it from the warehouse? No, I'm not. I'm going to do it from the farm to the warehouse. So which, I can't remember which ones I've done now. <laughs> so we'll do that to here. Yes, and add locomotive. This is going to be a Philadelphia because it's hauling freight. And then. We're gonna have. Uh, have I already done the sugar? I can't. I can't tell now. I can't tell which ones I've done. Let's um, let's cancel that and let's just see because I should be able to see where my trains are. Now uh, I haven't done one. There. I've done Thomas Preserve. You can see the train coming down there. So I haven't done any of the others, have I? Nope, I haven't done any of the others. All right. So let's do. Let's start off with um, Col Manor. Get the wheat coming in. Uh, come on. There we go. Yes, and add a locomotive. We want a Philadelphia. Boom. Whew. Uh, Thomas Preserve is running. Parker Farm. Let's do you next. So, let's try that again. Set up a new line. Parker Farm. Boom. To the warehouse. 
All right, and add a locomotive, and we want a Philadelphia. Boom. Is this complicated enough for you? I should hire these people before they go away. Um, we've got a security guard. Uh, yeah, I'll hire you, and I'm going to hire you the You really report. should pay more attention to the maintenance of your locomotive. Oh, we've got an accountant. Detecting consistencies in bids for new locomotives and reduces prices by 10%. Oh, he's, like, he's definitely worth having, I think. So, yeah, we'll hire you. All right, cool. And I'll just check on the research quickly. Uh, what do I want to do? Yeah. Let's let's grab that. Reduce reduce our maintenance. Uh, do, do, do. So where was I? I've done that one, done that one, done that one. Let's do the cows now. So we want to do a line from Campbell to the warehouse. Yes. And add a locomotive and we'll put on a Philadelphia. Whew. <laughs> Next, um, we'll do... Have I, I haven't put one on for Perry Farm, have I? No, I haven't. So let's do, let's do the Perry Farm one to the warehouse. And yes, add a locomotive, Philadelphia. Boom. And then we want Thompson Manor to the warehouse. Whoops, missed it. Try that again. Set the lineup. Thompson Manor to the warehouse. There we go. And yes, add locomotive. Philadelphia. Boom. Whew. And okay. That. So now, if we look at the warehouse, let's get rid of this. If we look at the warehouse, we'll see that we're starting to accumulate stock in here. Now, you don't get paid any money for shipping stuff to the warehouse. You only get paid for shipping the stuff from the warehouse to an end customer. Okay. So now we've got like six trains shipping stuff into the warehouse. So I'm thinking we're going to need at least two trains coming out um, and shipping into the cities. So how am I going to do it? You know, I think I'm going to double up the tracks because it's just, it's just easier. So let's put that one in and let's put this one um, do, do, I, do I need two going up to Grand Rapids? I don't, I don't really think I necessarily do. I definitely need two going into Toledo, and I might need more than two going. In fact, I probably do need more than two going into Toledo. Uh, but we'll, be, uh, we'll just live with it for now. So, uh, I need to put a signal on this side. Yep. So let's put a signal uh, there. Cool. Now, I haven't got, yeah, I haven't got a supply tower on those two lines, so let's put one in, make sure it's covering both. Oh, come on, there we go, that'll do. All right, so now let's do it. We want new line from the warehouse to Toledo, boom. Um... Yes, add loco. This is going to be a Philadelphia. And then we want to do... Uh, do I want to climb the track? No, I want a new line, don't I? Yeah, because it's going to be using a different track. Oops. Yeah. From the warehouse, but I want you using track... Uh, I don't know which is which now. You know, let's put this in end in and then we'll see so I think we're that, yeah we're already using that one which is track two so we want to put this on track three yeah yeah there we go I think that's right and add a locomotive Philadelphia boom Whew. hectic stuff isn't it oh right don't worry your employees won't miss a thing with me oh Honest. they stole one of my people um, security oh, no. guard what let's hire you fuck? And we haven't allocated these guys yet, so let's do a bit of let's do a bit of allocation. Let's go. Where what? Where are kind of our best lines? Our best lines probably Chicago is one of them. So let's have a quick look at this. Uh, let's hire a security guard. That's a five uh, percent increase in freight prices. I'm still going to put them on there. Um, have I got? I haven't got any engineers. Really? Okay, and we've got a stoker that we can allocate. 
Uh, let's put you on... Oh, I don't know. Rock Island line. Let's see. Um, what do I want? I want that. Oh, no. That's that's Toledo she got. Here we go. Let's see. Stoker. What are you going to add to the process? You're going to add maximum speed increased by 6%. Yeah, we live with that. Boom. It's better than nothing. Actually, you know what? I might reallocate that guy. Yeah, I might reallocate that guy. Oh, now there's a connection bonus of 330,000 for connecting the Jenkins Quarry. Okay, well, that's what we want to do next. Now, this, there's a train down here saying no suitable freight, and it's this train because it's, it's running backwards and forwards between these two, and Perry Farm hasn't got any stuff to, to move, or didn't have. So it'll turn round because it's got nothing there. And it'll whiz back up here, and then hopefully it should load up with corn. Yeah, we got we got corn enabled. So you should you should load up with what? No suitable freight? Why not? Oh yeah yeah yeah. No, he's loading up now. Good. Cool. All righty. Um, bum, 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 bum. now. What I could do, I think, let me get out of there, go over the line, and if I check Perry Farm, um, I can actually tell it to have a minimum number of cars. So, for example, I can say, you know what, wait until you've got a minimum of six cars. And what will happen is it will get to here, and then it will wait until it's got six cars worth of stuff. That's four, five, six. Uh, Campbell Ranch near Grand Rapids. I've got in touch with you. They'd like us to take their business up. We've got 2.3 million. My God, we're doing really well. Uh, let's take, well, let's take over the business. What the hell? Boom. All righty. That is rocking and rolling pretty nicely. This whole setup is pretty darn good. Where are we up to? We're halfway through 1951. We've got um, about 18 months left. How are we doing tasks-wise? We've only got to hook up two more. You know what? Let's do that before the end of this episode, shall we? We've got um, some vegetables over there. We've got some corn there. Oh, no. That, those are going into, uh, into Toledo. Mm, let's... Um, these vegetables, Louisville, Louisville. Let's see. Do you do you want vegetables? No, no, you don't. Who wants vegetables? What about St. Louis? Do do, do, do. Uh, vegetables? No, doesn't want vegetables. Um, we've got fruit there. Oh, now I tell you what. Chicago needs cows. We got any cows anywhere close? What? What's this? Ooh. Did I not put... I didn't put a supply thing on that line. Supply tower. Boom. There we go. That should make him a bit happier. Yeah. Go on, go on top up. Good lad. Um, we've got cows there that we could ship down to Chicago. Uh, we've also got milk. Now, hang on, Rock Island, do you need corn? Corn. Yes, you do. All right. So, oh, and I've left a, I've left a thing there. Hooray. Let's grab a station, small train station. Ooh, oh, will you, oh, I'll have to, I think I'll have to put you that side. Let's put you that side. Boom. Let's hook you up. Oh, no, 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 because, um, Ah, no, because I want to run the uh, iron into here. Mind you, running the iron into there, I, could, I might as well run it into the other side. So, yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. So, we'll run it from, from there to there. Um, there we go. What's that? 37,000. Not even going to worry about it. We need to add a uh, supply tower. Whack that on there. I, I've no idea what that sound is for. It's probably telling me about something, but I have no idea what it is. 
Um, no doubt yeah. I'll get loads There's of messages about it. There's space my station here. This damn technology throws a wrench in the works too often, doesn't Good it? Good for you. <laughs> what the hell was I doing? Oh, I just put that in. So I need, need to put if all more in. If you carry on at this pace, I could just walk instead of taking the train. Oh, shut up. Um, Stevens Farm. Oh, come on. Stevens Farm. Uh, actually, well, if it's Stevens Farm to Rock Island, that makes more sense. So do that. Add locomotive. We'll throw a Philadelphia on. Okay, that's that. Um, meat industry in Rochester. It's up for sale. It's going to cost me 450 Yeah, I can certainly afford it. Go on, we'll take it. Hooray! We've bought that business as well now. Right, so that's that's done. What are you waiting for? Oh, it's bringing in a whole load of corn. Excellent. So, the last one. We've got to do one more. Do I want to bring the cows into Chicago? You know what? I'm going to put in... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to put in an extra station, I think. Because... <laughs> Because I don't want to have to mess around with rerouting these tracks. So I'm just going to put another station over here. Um, yeah, let's, let's put another station in there. And uh, I want to, whoops, I want to put a station in up here for the cows. Boom. Hook them up. That one goes to that one. That's a lot of money. All right. Well, let's 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 move you. Uh, let's take you the other side of Madison. And that's, that's 165. You know what? I don't think I'm going to fuss too much. Well, I'm going to fuss a little bit because that's don't need those earthworks. 144. Yeah, that'll do, won't it? Yeah, that'll do. Let's accept that. Right. Set it rail line. Uh, it's going to be from the other end, isn't it? It's going to be from Rico. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I just think it's it's neater. So, yeah, you and add a locomotive. Philadelphia. Boom. Toledo Railways, new selection. 19 stations currently connected. Hooray. So, that's bringing cows in. Now, for Chicago, we've got a, a meat industry there. So, we'll start fulfilling that, which is awesome and then we can start shipping the meat out to other places if we really want to uh so how are we doing connect 10 rural businesses to your rail network um i need to put a supply tower on here before i forget let's set it over here there we go so hang on why i added that one and that one did i did i put a train on that one yeah. So hang on, I've added two. How come I've only got one added to that? Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe that doesn't count. Maybe adding it into Rock Island doesn't count. I think that's what it's telling me. Oh man, that means I need to find another one somewhere. Um, what else? We got a wheat farm. We, oh, this fruit farm maybe. Uh, I've got one extra track there. Is there anything over here that I could hook up to? No? Uh, well, there's such vegetables, I suppose. Uh, what do you need? St. Louis, what do you actually need? So look. Uh, wheat would be a good one. Should we do wheat? We've got a wheat farm up there. Let's do it. So let's grab a small station. And I'll flip you around. Shouldn't you also Boom. leave a bit of room for more efficient rail systems? No. Oh, no. What bad luck. All right, we're going to hook you in there. We're going to divert you around like that. Now, that that is going to create a really, really steep bridge there. So I actually need to bring that back to like somewhere like that so that it's a shallower incline it's probably still not that nice well it says it's only saying five percent so you know what it's a little bit expensive but i'm just going to take it so let's I must take admit that the, uh, results speak for themselves we've this already got a supply tower is impressive we'll set up the line for oh now let's do it from uh where are we from foster farm to st louis boom go Toledo Railways leaves them behind. Value reaches 11 million. My God, we're doing pretty good. Uh, let's add a locomotive. We want a Philadelphia. Boom. Whew. Okay. Um, 
you know what? I think, guys, that we'll leave it there for this episode. Because we've just completed the first two tasks. We've got the 10, we've got the population. What I need to do now is hook up the, uh, the delivery of the iron to the, rock, uh, to the Rock Island town so that they can finish the bridge. I need to trans then transport 100 passengers. But we've got plenty of time. We've got seven years to get that done. 1954. I've got three years to get a population of 100,000 in Toledo. That shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, we need, I've got to buy out one of my competitors. That really shouldn't be too difficult. So, yeah. We will... Um, I think that's a good place to leave it. We'll leave it there. Pause. Whew, man. That was a busy old episode. But I think you can see that there, there's more to this game than, like... It meets your eye, uh, like at first look. The whole thing about setting up these depots and whatever is really interesting. I really like that concept. And like optimizing your lines. I mean, I haven't done anything in terms of like really optimizing my lines yet. I mean, I should have like probably put passing places and doubled up the trains between like Chicago and Toledo. And um, like, I, like I did over... We, uh, I can't remember which, which one it was. Oh, it was the Corn Farm one. Yeah, like I did over at Perry Farm, um, making the trains wait for a full load and stuff like that. So, yeah, there's a lot to this game, guys. I hope you'll come back for the, uh, for the second half of this. Oh, I, I mean, I say second half. This, this could be a three-parter because we got... No, 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 we should get this done in the next episode. Yeah, we should get this done in the next episode, hopefully. All right, guys, uh, come back for the next episode. I will see you for that. Hope you enjoyed this. Leave me your comments. Peace out.